What's up guys, welcome back to the UCL BJJ channel. We're here in the Chill Dojo with Brad and Sam, and we're here to give you some more techniques. In this series, we're gonna be looking at the mount, and most specifically, the arm lock from the S mount. Let's get to it. All right guys, let's get into our technique. Drop on your back, Sam. Okay, so we're looking at attacking the armbar for the mat position, one of the most essential submissions that you'll learn in Jiu Jitsu. Now, the setup for it is we need to come up into a high mount and ultimately transfer into an S mount. So my knee needs to slide up and my leg needs to kick around in this position here for me to start to attack Sam's arms. Now, for me to get into this position, I need to address which direction Sam's arms are, you see? And typically, whichever arm is on top, I need to attack the top arm, you see? Sam is defending this one here by closing up a rear naked choke grip. That's where the, uh, the escape already comes in, so I wanna start working on the top hand. Now, when we're in the mount, usually we're gonna be a little bit lower. We're trying to sort of hug the head in this position. All I'm gonna do is slip my thumb inside the collar, rotate, and then all I'm doing is putting pressure through my forearm. You see? This isn't for me to actually get my cross choke. I'm just putting the pressure through to provide sort of a, a defense on my palm. So when Sam holds onto my arm now, my hands can come up just above the head position here. And then when my hips come forward, that's gonna raise that elbow. So I bring my hand up, I slide my knee beside my partner's shoulder, and then I kick my second leg around for me to land into my S mount. Now we're in position we start working into the armbar. Now, all I have to do in terms of finishing is leaning forwards, you see? I lean into this leg, I have to take the weight off of this leg here from the step over Sam's head. So I lean forwards, I step, and we land into position from here. Now, I have a hold of Sam's arm, I'm gripping it with my elbow joint. So I'm pinching it between my bicep and forearm, locking that into position here. My knees are pinching together, I fall straight back, and as I'm falling, my knees are pinching, I pull the hand, and then we have I finish from there. So I'm making sure this is glued in nice and tight. Again, when it comes to any armbar finish, we need to control the manipulation of your partner's thumb. So as I'm trying to finish, my partner will be twisting her thumb from side to side. You see, so I, if I'm lucky in the position here, I feel the thumb twisting, I support with my second hand, and then bring that down towards me. Now, while we're here in the mount position, we need to look at addressing the arms as well. So I have my weight down, thumbs inside, circle, pressure into the neck. This is gonna get the response. My hand hits the floor. I slide up, we're into our S mount. As soon as I'm here, I'm hooking this arm through. So I'm grabbing onto my partner's arm. Grab, lean forward, step over the head. Once I'm there, again, don't be in too much of a rush to fall back. The initial reaction for most uh, novices is just to grab and pull and hope to death that the person taps out. Go nice and slow on this, fall back from its position, make sure the knees are pinched, pull, and then if there's any need to bridge, then you can, but the majority of people will tap just as soon as you start to straighten the arm out. Just rotate this way, sir. So we set our grip, we apply the choke, pressure's in, post the hand, slide into my S mount, hug the arm already, I'm pinching with my forearm, lean forwards, step over the head, and then I'm in position to start sitting back for that arm lock there. So, give that a try guys. That is one of the most basic ways to enter into the arm lock, and we're doing so from the mount position, using the transition to S mount to ultimately get the finish. Oh, 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 oh,